our ABC News exclusive with the wife of the man electrocuted in a hot tub at a resort in Mexico. She was also in the tub and was badly injured. Well, now she is speaking out, speaking about it for the first time with our Matt Rivers, who had a chance to sit down with her. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Michael. Liz Zambrano told us that she's speaking out now so soon after her husband's death because she wants to make sure what happened to her family doesn't happen to anybody else. I feel that this could have been prevented. Texas couple Lisette Sombrano and her husband, George Guillen, seen in these pictures while traveling with dozens of family members to a Mexican beach resort. What they didn't know was that these photos would be their last together. I still can't believe it. A very good man was taken away. Liz speaking exclusively to ABC News about what happened last week at the Sonoran Sea Resort in Mexico where she and her husband were both electrocuted in a hot tub near the pool, seriously injuring her and taking George's life. Liz now suing the resort for wrongful death due to what she alleges was faulty wiring, sending a live current into the water. What are you hoping to get out of that? I want somebody to take accountability for what happened to my husband and myself. In a frightening video now part of the investigation, Liz is seen being pulled to safety, George receiving CPR on the deck. The last thing I remember him saying is, oh, shit. and it's the same time that I felt uh, the first electric shock. And then it happened over and over and over. I didn't hear him again. The suit alleging that bystanders' attempts to rescue the couple were hampered, stating the metal from the objects carried the electrical current and began shocking the rescuers. A lot of people jumped in, but they kept jumping out because the shocks were so strong. Liz says she was pulled out with no pulse, given CPR and medevac to a hospital, where, as she came to, she overheard nurses confirm the worst. I could hear them, and one of them says, no, su esposo no la hizo. What does that mean in English? Her husband didn't make it. The lawsuit seeks $1 million in damages from Casa Go, facilitator of the vacation rental, claiming George was being electrocuted and drowned underwater for 10 minutes. And at no time prior to this did defendants seek to engage the emergency shutoff for the jacuzzi. Casa Go denied responsibility, saying in a statement in part, quote, The Sonoran Sea is a condo resort, and the Homeowners Association is responsible for all common areas, including the maintenance of the swimming pool, hot tubs, and grounds. Casa Go, a vacation rental company, is not involved in any management or maintenance of the resort. ABC News has asked the Homeowners Association for comment, but has not heard back. For the Sambranos and their lawyer, though, they feel the culpability is clear. What policies and procedures do they have in place? And what's the point of those policies and procedures if they're not doing anything to enact them? A couple more things to look out for in terms of safety if you're swimming in a pool that you think there might be a current in. The National Fire Protection Association says look out for any underwater lights that might not be functioning properly and don't swim before, during, or after thunderstorms. Guys? Just an awful story yes. there, Matt, and we're thinking of the Sambranos and their families. Thank you.